recurring creepy clown hoax is getting serious attention nationwide. Local officials say it is wasting precious resources and they're urging parents to really take action. Christina Hager's live in North Andover tonight where the hoax actually caused an evacuation at Merrimack College last night. Christina? And David, now administrators here at Merrimack College are asking Twitter to disable the thread where pranksters have been posting pictures and supposed sightings of these threatening clowns. The creepy clowns all over social media have moved beyond college campuses, where some students have staged so-called clown hunts to dozens of communities in Massachusetts and across the country, where police are now being inundated with calls. In Lowell, you send resources, which takes them out of other areas that they need to be. What if somebody's o overdosing and we have the Narcan available? Uh, you're taking people away from other more serious issues. In Dedham, the school superintendent sent out a letter asking parents to watch for signs of the clown hoax. Please monitor your child's activity through their personal media access. At Merrimack College, hundreds of students were evacuated Monday night. And everyone started running out of the building, and a lot of my friends said like the RAs came like screaming through the hallways, like saying to get out. A staff member saw a threat posted on Twitter, saying there was a clown holding a rifle in one of the dorms. It was unfounded, and now Merrimack administrators are calling for Twitter to take responsibility. We've this morning um, written to Twitter saying this account violates their terms of service, and we'd, we'd like to get a response. Um, but I imagine a lot of other campuses and a lot of other communities are facing the same thing. What can Twitter really do about this? Well, that was the subject of a discussion in a class at Emerson College today on social media. And we'll hear what the instructor had to say about that coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in North Andover, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, we'll see you at 6.